Welcome to Two Minute Tuesdays. My name is Monica Levin and I am a certified body language trainer. I just created a free webinar called Body Language for Video Conferencing for you. All you have to do is go to my website and register and then you can watch this 32 minute training. This is one of the next seven Two Minute Tuesdays that are about micro expressions. I figured it was a good thing to follow body language for video conferencing, since that is mainly about how you can connect to others and how you use your body language when you're on video chat, video conferencing, and video meetings. But now I want you to be able to interpret other people's facial expressions. Today's micro expression is sadness. In sadness, the eyebrows are flat, but the inner corners are drawn up. They come up and the mouth is pulled down and the chin is off and back. I will say that sadness is the toughest expression to fake. So when you see it, know that the person feels sad about whatever it is you're talking about. One time I was uh, visiting a customer who was talking about his father and I missed the sadness micro expression, but my face must have imitated it because I started to feel sad. And then I could ask a little bit more about his father and I found out that he had passed away. So it could be good information. And when someone is trying to hide their sadness, I find that the tell or the way to see it is really when the inner eyebrows come up here. That's the expression for sadness. Let's say that you're at work and you see Joe in the hall and you go over and you say, Joe, are you ready for our meeting in, in 20 minutes? And Joe says, sure, yes, I am, except you see the eyebrows go up. He's not going to tell you he's sad. You might say, Joe, so is something going on? You say, yeah, you know, my, my aunt just died. And you can respond. You can respond authentically and with kindness. You say, you know, Joe, I know it's a tough time. Why don't we postpone the meeting? maybe in two to three days. And he says, yes, thank you for understanding. So you can use this knowledge of micro expressions to be able to bond and respond authentically to people. I hope this helps.